Hey guys, Max here today with another video, and today I'm going through my favorite lures that I own on me right now. So I'm going to go over the top water, soft plastics, hard bodies, crankbaits, and swim baits, and other lures like that. So I'm going to go over my favorite swim bait right now. My favorite swim bait has to be this power bait swim bait. I catch all sorts of bass, rock bass, smallmouth, perch, and crappie on these. I run them with a small little jig head or weightless. A jig head this size to go with this one bait. It looks very good like a spawning shad and it works very well in the water and very efficient. So now we're going on to my favorite top water bait. My favorite top water bait has to be this rebel popper. I've caught so many bass on this, it works very efficiently if you crank it in slow. Then you pop it every, like, every one circle on the reel, on the retrieve. It works very well. And that's my favorite topwater lure. My favorite jig has to be this black bitsy bug jig. It's my favorite to throw at nighttime because it has a glare off of it when I throw a trailer on. Onto it. I don't have a trailer onto it right now since one of them broke off and I'm too lazy to add a new one on. Has a very nice weed guard up here. It, it works very well for me. But one thing I would wish for this recommendation is to have more of a bigger skirt onto it. So it looks a lot better in the water. Now we're going on to my favorite crankbait. My favorite crankbait has to be this bluegill crankbait. It looks just like a baby bluegill swimming in the water because it has the gill motion of it. Has a nice detailed paint job on it. It really doesn't pick it up in the camera. But it has a nice blue over here, the bottom. And overall, this caught me my PB bass. Um, six pounds and point and twenty, six point twenty, twenty one. It was a very very nice bass. I caught up cut it up at my lake and it was ver and it worked very efficiently. So now we're going on to my favorite chatterbait. My favorite chatterbait has to be this mini chatterbait. Most people say they don't like it that much, but I like it cuz it also comes with a neck and second trailer. It comes with these two. And I got this for around a buck at my local field and stream. You can't go wrong with a chatterbait. And any degree of water, it just vibrates very very well. And the fish will just bite on and it has this very big barb and it won't ever and they've caught so many fish on this, they never have fallen off. I've caught in bass from one pound to five pounds on this little thing. And I've also caught some bluegills on this and crappie and perch. They just love it, all species do. Now we are going on to my favorite little spoon. It has to be this spoon I picked up a lot a little bit ago. And it's v it has a nice curve onto it on each side. has a nice little fur attachment on there. I had my other spoon break, and I had in this part, the little O-ring right there broke off. So I had a smart idea to just to throw the little treble hook. And it works very well like a fly. So if you were to buy one of these spoons and it breaks, make sure this stays on. Because it this works very well as a regular fly to catching bass and stuff. So, my favorite swim bait has to be this Kitek swim bait. I've talked about it in a video before. And if I pair it up with a Gamagatsu hook, let me grab one. It works very well. So, let me rig it up right now. The way I'd rig it is I would put it through the nose and I'd bring it down a bit through the bottom. Then I'd bring it up through. Then I'd look at it like this, see where it would fit through like this. Then it looks like it'll fit like that. So then I'll attach it on. Like so. And overall, this little tactic works very well. Or you can, instead of putting it in the middle, you can put it up there on the groove in between. And rest it. And another way you can rig it is you do this. And before you put it in there, you grab a treble hook, and then you hook it onto here, 
which is also a trailer hook, and it works very well to catching those fish that swipe at it. So now my favorite, my favorite lure to catch any species has to be this little inline spinner. It's a company called Wolf that I got it from, and it, I've caught it so, so many bluegill on it, they're starting to peel off the hair of it. This rooster tail, I have to, every time I go fishing, I throw one of these to catch a fish at least, which is a star debate to see if there's fish in any pond, new ponds I fish in. So now, my favorite trailer for a bait, like a jig or something, has to be this Gary Yamoto craw. Those the craws, the, the claws of them, will swim in the water back and forth, and it looks very well with a bitsy bug jig if you cut it in the right size, it, like in half or something, and it works very well. I've caught many fish on these, and I caught my PB smallmouth on one of, on a cr little crawfish lure, like this. So then my favorite bait for catching um, easy bass has to be this yum dinger. I either wacky rig it or Texas rig it. Mm -hmm. I also put on the trailer hook with it because it works so well. But it's been sitting in my tackle box for so long. Other yum dingers have dyed it. So now it's a multicolored one and it looks pretty cool. So now that's all for now. And my but I have one last lure, my favorite top water frog. I don't have on me right now. But it is a live target frog. I forgot the name of it. But I think Live Target makes insanely good lures. I have this by them. This is my favorite thing to run for stripers. Because it looks like a school of shad is swimming in the water. And they stripers tend to go after the biggest one of the group. So the biggest one in the bottom has a hook onto it. And the rest don't. So it swims in the water. And the stripers go by, snatch it, and get hooked. And the blade in the center makes it seem like there is even more fish in the school, so it's really, really big. This bait is pretty heavy for a bait this size. I'd say you could throw this on a bait caster and it'll go really far. At least t over 30, meet 30 yards, it works very well. And this one's just far enough, so it makes it seem like it's the odd one out of the group. And my favorite mini swim bait has to be this little baby swim bait. It's a shad. I also have it in green minnow, baby bluegill, and this blue color. I catch so many different species on these. They're so fun to use for my ultralight fishing. I've caught trout on these before. I've caught I've caught in a chain pickerel on these before. They're fun to use. They're they dive down pretty well. But my tactic for this is bed fishing. So if you see a bed for, like, for a big bluegill, just cast it in the bed and hop it around, and you'll catch tons of fish with this. So I have my tackle, or, or what you're looking at is this. Then I have my tackle organized into four different boxes. I have jigs, crankbaits, topwaters, chatterbait stuff in that box. Now that's my swimbait box. I have a topwater frog in there, which is not my favorite one. Other stuff, other swim baits, stuff. Then I move over to my soft plastics, which has yum dingers, more yum dingers, broken yum dingers, kytex, craws, some sinkers, split shots, and some Texas rig hooks. Then I go over here, and I have those mini swim baits. I have some inline spinners, salmon spinner, bigger salmon spinner, and those spoons that I showed you guys. So that's all for today's video. And comment down below what you want to see next. Because I have a fishing kayak I'm going to do a video on later in the year. Hope you guys want to see that. See ya and good night and bye.